Italian cruisers leave early access, the introduction of a new collection, a unique historical commander, Luigi Sansonetti, the 14th season of Ranked Battles, and other features and improvements. All this and many other things await you in Update 0.8.10. The Italians are making their presence felt in our game. Please welcome the complete branch of researchable Italian cruisers to World of Warships. The beautiful Venezia resides at the very top, Tier 10, carrying 15 guns with a caliber of 203 millimeters that can be loaded with either armor-piercing shells or the brand new semi-armor-piercing shells. So what's important to know about the new shells? Semi-armor-piercing projectiles can penetrate armor at very acute angles. They don't suffer from over-penetrations, and their damage mechanics are very similar to those of high-explosive shells. While the new shells can't start fires on enemy ships, Successful hits with them will certainly make you happy with their high damage stats. In battle, semi-armor piercing shells are best used against destroyers and light cruisers. They are also very effective when firing at an enemy ship's ends, superstructures, or casemates. However, if an adversary exposes their broadside to you at close range, a salvo of armor piercing shells will prove to be more efficient. The Italians bring another novelty with them, the exhaust smoke generator consumable. This allows a cruiser to hide and smoke without having to slow down. Players will be able to test the efficiency of semi-armor piercing shells starting from Tier 2, while exhaust smoke generator becomes available at Tier 5. Detailed information on Italian cruisers can be found in a dedicated article on our website. Our new Resolute and Rapid collection is set to add even more Italian flavor to the game. It reveals the history of Italian ships, their combat service, and commemorative medals. Once you complete it, the new unique commander, Luigi Sansonetti, will join your fleet. Elements of the collection can only be found in Resolute and Rapid containers during Update 0.8.10. The elements won't drop from daily containers, but don't get discouraged if you aren't able to gather the entire collection in time. The new Italian containers will become available in the armory for coal in a future update. Let's return to Luigi Sansonetti. This Italian commander has the improved expert loader and torpedo acceleration skills, in addition to three unique talents. Just as with other unique historical commanders, a ship helmed by Sansonetti will be decorated with a guidon and have colored shell traces. Each time one of his talents is activated, a signal flare will be fired. Another historical and unique commander, Nikolai Kuznetsov, is again available in the armory. You can enlist Kuznetsov for 175,000 coal. Pan-Asian commander Quan Rong is also available for coal, while his brother Da Rong is available for 1,500 doubloons. Despite not having any special talents, they both have two improved skills, demolition expert and survivability expert. The collection of ships available for coal has also grown. Now, everyone can obtain the famous Polish destroyer, Wiskawica, which sails under the European flag in our game. Captains, the portal to another world is still open. Until November 27, you still have the opportunity to participate in the Raid for the Filth. Here are the rules in case you forgot. Three teams, with three players in each, fight against each other and hordes of monsters controlled by artificial intelligence to collect a precious resource. Filth, it can be exchanged for useful and valuable rewards in the armory. Please note, once the mode ends, the Halloween monster ships will remain in your port until the release of update 0.8.11, but you won't be able to enter battle playing them. The new 14th season of Ranked Battles is set to kick off at the middle of this update. Battles will be held in an 8 vs 8 format, playing Tier 10 ships. Only one aircraft carrier and a maximum of four battleships per team are allowed. The main reward is 5,500 steel. All battles will be fought in domination mode on the following maps. Shards, Northern Lights, Trident, Haven, Greece, and Riposte. Onwards to other news. We are continuing to improve the lighting in our game. Ten maps, along with such ports as Ocean and St. Petersburg, will be displayed in fresh colors and have new visuals. 
We've also improved matchmaking for co-op battles. Battles will now be fought in a 9 vs 9 format, and bots will be added to any incomplete player team in a more diverse way. Co-op battles will also have a limit on the maximum number of ships of the highest tier in a battle, and the minimum number of ships of the lowest tier. The matchmaker will now try to eliminate situations where, for example, one tier 8 ship is assigned to a battle in which all the remaining ships are from tier 10. In the future, we plan to introduce similar improvements to random battles as well. Apart from that, our game will soon have a fresh batch of black ships dedicated to the Black Friday event, with the letter B in their names. You'll find out which ships exactly very soon, as well as other details about them. You can find detailed information about all the new features and changes in Update 0.8.10 on our website. My name is Dasha Perova. Until next time, Captains! Я уверена. Что? Порадочнее еще? Давай, порадочнее. Почему не нравится итальянский? Ну, хорошо. Итальянские дни в нашей игре продолжаются. Что же нужно знать, использовать? Чего? Хорошо.